You can be a professional photographer or a beginner, but I'm sure you are shooting with friends and family because we all do. And everyone wants pictures for free or with a very big discount. So guys, in this video, it doesn't matter which level you have in photography, I'm gonna tell you what I personally would do because I've learned in the very hard way, I lost a lot of money and I wanna tell you my experience further in the video. And regarding on your level, I'm gonna tell you as well what I would do. So guys, I'm gonna start talking about being professional. If you're a professional photographer, this is very up to you if you want to offer discounts or not. If you are working for companies, they have more budget. So I would never offer a discount. Companies have budget and they're always gonna try to lower the budget, always. So think that and actually charge maybe a bit more, sell them a bit more to what you normally charge and then the company, when they negotiate the price, put a bit lower. But that way the company is gonna think you are offering them a discount. But I wouldn't go lower than your average fee because otherwise you're gonna lose money and the companies have the money, probably more money than you. So take that into account. And if you are working for individuals, this is depending completely of the person. I don't charge the same, I have to say this, to, for example, when I shoot with very big artists, I charge a bit more because I have the quality. But then when I shoot with friends, because most of them, they are music artists, and because I know them, I have the feel like I have to offer them a discount because they are friends. So I still offer a discount, but not as much anymore because I used to lose a lot of money, guys. A lot of money, because it's a lot of money to shoot. You have to take into account the gear. You have to take into account the travel expenses, uh, the editing software maybe skills if you are learning new courses and stuff. It's a lot of money. So you would be losing money if you offer a big discount. So I offer discount, but not that big anymore. So that's what I do. And actually, because they are my friends and they're music artists and that industry is very tough as well. I know they are not rich and they don't have a lot of money. I don't care to help them out. So in this situation, I like to offer a bit of a discount. Another thing I do as well, and this is a very good trick for you, is charging the full fee, but offer them more pictures. Because guys, you love photography, you love taking pictures and you love editing, at least I do. So what I do with this is, okay, so I charge you this, but I'm gonna deliver you more pictures or extra editing, like more in black and white or extra effects because I love to do double exposures. I don't know if you know this, if you follow my work, you know it. So I like to do this to add up into the fee. So instead lowering my fee to keep my money because I need it, I just offer more work to them. This is an amazing trick if you are professional. Then. If you are intermediate, this is a bit more delicate, but I would say, in my own opinion, obviously, because this is very subjective, guys, charge the full amount. Because when you are intermediate, you are actually in a very thin line between being intermediate and professional. And what is gonna change that level, going from intermediate to professional, is actually how much you are charging. So if you lower your fees, then people, word of mouth in your town, they're gonna say how much you charge, and people never gonna pay you more. And then your level can grow, you can be amazing, you can learn a lot, but then they're not gonna pay you the full amount because you charged them before this amount. So be very careful with offering discounts. And if you wanna offer a discount, say to the client, or well, client, in this occasion, friends or family, tell them to don't say to anyone how much you charge them. Or even tell them, say to people, I charge you this when they ask you because otherwise word of mouth is gonna kill your creativity because you're gonna want to charge something and they're gonna tell you, ah, someone told me you charge this amount and you're gonna be screwed forever. So please be very careful and very mindful when offering discount when you are like intermediate and you are trying to grow. And then for total beginners, like super, super total beginners, maybe don't charge, practice a lot with friends and family, keep practicing and get better and maybe don't charge because I know you don't have the level yet but then be very careful because so many of you guys text me on Instagram asking me about this you don't know how much to charge or some of you told me that you don't have the level to charge and when I see your portfolios you have the level to charge and it frustrates me a lot not in a bad way obviously because I used to be that person so guys I don't mind if you text me on Instagram I always try to reply to everyone even if I take longer and I will tell you, you have the level, in my own perspective, of course. But so many times you can charge and you are not doing it. Or you are practicing and not charging, which is fine if you have no clue about photography or you don't have experience enough. But then you don't know when to stop and start charging. So guys, ask me. I don't mind if you reach out to me on Instagram. 
and ask me please because uh, this is very dangerous you're never gonna grow with your camera if you never charge and I've been stuck there for years so I know what I'm talking about at the beginning I wasn't charging then I was charging like 150 quid for press shots 150 is peanuts I'm more in London because obviously everything is more expensive 150 is nothing 150 per month is just the travel card for you to have an idea it doesn't cover my gear my equipment my lighting gear it doesn't cover anything or my editing software. There is a lot of things you have to take into account when you are shooting. It's not just your skills. It's all your gear, the travel expenses, the time you spend in the photo shoot, and the time you spend editing. So please, I know for now maybe it's a hobby, but if you wanna transform that hobby into a real job, you wanna have to start charging. And this is a super quick um, view about everything in general and my own opinion. Guys, feel free to comment below if you are charging or not and to reach out to me in the comments below or on Instagram and I will tell you my very honest opinion if you could charge or not or if you need to practice more. But be very careful with not charging, guys. Even if it's just a tiny bit when you're a beginner, it's always good. And you also get used to charge people which are friends or family and then you are not that scared to charge actually real clients. And again, you have below a video about how to find clients regardless of your level and also a free template you can download to send email to brands, to approach brands. So if you are a total beginner, keep practicing, grab that template and whenever you are ready, start pitching brands. But for now, regarding friends and family, this is what I had to say. Feel free to comment below your thoughts, subscribe if you didn't yet, like the video because it helps me a lot and I will see you very soon.